Okay. This uh, being oop, I didn't mean. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for taking the time to be here. We are so excited that you're with us. My name is Liz. This is my sister, Sam. We vlog over at prettylifegirls.com. You can find us on social media at Pretty Life Girls everywhere. And we are very tie-dye obsessed. <laughs> and in particular, we are huge ice dye fans. Um, if this is your first time uh, attempting ice dye or learning about ice dye, I would love to, oh, Laura. Oh my gosh. I would, yes, everyone say hi and where yes, you're from. Yes, Laura, thank you so much. Laura said she loves our book. So last year, we love tie dye enough that we put out um, a tie dye book last year, the DIY Guide to Tie Dye Style. You can find it on our blog, uh, prettylifegirls.com. But if you've never done ice dye before, if you're new to this, let us know in the chat. We'd love to see our first timers. Or if you have done it before, let us know what you have ice dyed. We would love to hear about your experience with ice dye. It's such a fun, I mean, this is a bold claim, but it's our favorite <laughs> yeah. method. I think because it always works because it's the, the way that the ice melting and mixing with the dye swirls it in a way that just is so beautiful every time. Newbie, <gasps> first time. Newbie. Hello from Virginia. So we're in um, Utah, Harriman, in Utah. Um, so, and we'd love to know where you guys are all, all coming from. Yeah. Harriman's by Salt Lake. Yeah. Not too far. No, so, I'm sort of Harriman. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> so I say, we love it so much. Yes. We have a tie dye book that you can grab. It's great for, for, for beginners, for intermediate and advanced tie dyers. Oh my God. Oh, from Boston, so from Texas. Never I used to, I'm looking forward to learning. Oh, I'm so excited. Thanks you guys so much for being here. So what are we making? So we're going to make some ice dye dresses. This is something we like to do for summertime. I like to wear dresses because yes. I don't want clothes like clinging to my uh -huh. body in yes. the summer. Texas, you probably feel the same. Yeah. Minnesota. Um, this is my first ice dye that I need to. It's very fun to do with kids. We do it with our kids because all you have to do is let them shake the dye out. The squeezing it, it's a little bit less messy that way as far as the application goes. So it is really great to do with, with little kiddos. We have ruined many clothes <laughs> by not covering properly. Yeah. So today we're going to apron Jersey Shore, newbie here. Welcome, welcome. This is so fun. Okay. So before we get started, let's, do you want to show some projects that I'd we've love done? To. Yes. Actually, before you do that, we're going to do a giveaway of our book, a, a tie-dye prize pack. So you'll get a book, you'll get a handmade tie-dye shirt that we've made. You'll get some tie-dye that you can use. Tulip tie-dye, the, the number one brand we use, the most usable, um, the most accessible and beautiful colors and kits. Yeah. So to enter that, I'm going to have Jackie when she has a second, she's going to drop a link into the chat where you can go and you just enter your first name and email. Last time we had a little bit of confusion because once you click submit, all it does is say like, thank you. And it kind of feels like it didn't work, but it did. So <laughs> um, watch for that link. Please enter. We'd love to send you a tie-dye prize pack. And it will also, after the class is over, we'll send links to any of the resources that we've mentioned. Um, oh, she didn't get it. I'm just going to, I'll just drop it here, Jackie. Do you guys see that? link that I just did or did I do it direct I think I did it direct let's see everyone here okay everyone see it let get in there start entering your information make sure that it works yes again but that will enter you for the giveaway and also any links that we need to send out for this class so that yes. you can have all the information you need yeah we want to be able to follow up we see it great okay yeah let us know if you have any issues entering Okay, so I sty projects. Want me to show some projects? Yes. I sty is so awesome. It kind of has like um, well, okay, kind of a watercolor effect. Okay, Carolyn. Carolyn, go, go into the link that we just put in and fill out the information. Don't send us your email here. Submission has been received. Thank you for entering. Yay, okay. good job. Unless Carolyn, you are having issues, then we can enter you. Yes, that's fine. That's too. fine too. Um, okay, so. 
it gives you kind of like a watercolor effect, kind of marbly, or if you've ever done like, I've never done this, but I've seen people do it like alcohol ink. Mm -hmm. It's sort of like that. So the incredible thing about ice dye, this dress we did last year has all these different colors and different shades. This we used red, yellow, and blue. That is it. And we got all these different mixtures and shades. Like we've got gold, we've got purple, indigo. Are we good? Okay. Awesome. Perfect. This dress is one of my favorites for throwing on over a swimsuit in the summer. It's just so much fun. All those colors. I always get compliments on it. People ask me where I got it and we made it. It's just like a beautiful work of art. I know this one almost looks floral. Like yes. it, it, if from far away, you might think that this is some kind of like watercolor floral pattern, but then when you look at it up close, you see that it's actually, like, look at dyed. this. I want to show this. Look at that patch right there. Is that so the pretty. most amazing thing? And this was the craziest. We just made these ones a couple weeks ago. This one, we used the Tulip Wilderness Kit. Oh, my favorite kit. Which is like peach blush, sage green, forest green. Never should have been this. Never. That's, you cannot predict it. It's so fun. It is so fun. Like, look at that. It is just these, so awesome. These are the dresses. If you go to... Um, if you go to Instagram at Pretty Life Girls or at Tulip Color Crafts, the us wearing these dresses are both on the feeds right now, so you can see them what they look like on. Yeah, they're really. So it's kind of hard to like hold it up. And see. Oh, Jackie just shared the wilderness kit, so you can see how crazy yeah. opposite. Look at that kit, because would you have ever expected that the colors in that kit would result in this? No, I was very surprised. It's so fun. Very surprised. Okay, we're gonna show a couple other ice dye things here. So can we switch to our overhead? Overhead. So this is, I say, also wait, we wait. should say, nope, you're good. Do I need to push something? Oh, sorry, we're bouncy later. We don't need audio here. Okay. I should say we get really excited and start talking super fast. <laughs> <laughs> so write in caps, slow down. If we just start, please going crazy. Okay. So here's the book DIY guide to tie dye style. We use a ton of tulip tie dye in this book. All everything that's in here you can get at Michael's stores. It starts with, um, you know, the basic supplies you need, using guides to using fabric, dyeing guides, and then we have binding techniques, and then we get into twenty original product projects. Oh yeah. Sam, <laughs> Sam forgot the ice. Forgot the ice. So she's going right to go back. get the ice. That's kind of important, but here is an ice dye skirt project that's in our book. So once again, like there's no other method that can replicate the results that you get from ice dye. The combination of the powder dye with the ice slowly melting through it just creates these organic, gorgeous patterns that we love so much. Um, and we have all of the instructions for how to do it here. Um, this one, we use a tulip permanent dye uh, to do that ice dye. We also have this other fun ice dye um, project in the book. This is beeswax food wraps. Um, so we ice dyed these napkins and then we um, and then we added beeswax to them. So you can, they are like reusable organic food cover food covers and this is again kind of like that dress we showed you we only used red yellow and blue dye and the results were these beautiful colors so it's such a fun method I'm so excited that you guys are interested in trying it you're going to be so obsessed if you live <laughs> in a snowy place we've also done this with snow Ice dye works awesome with snow. So in the winter, if you're making sweatshirts, if it's winter break and you need something to do with your kids, snow's nice too, because sometimes it can be hard to round up extra ice. That's true. That's true. Unless you have a really good ice maker, um, your main screen is frozen. Is it still frozen? Please let us know. The overhead? Still frozen, huh? Is anyone else having that issue? I, I don't think this is you. I think it might be her... Uh, okay. Directly. Okay. I'll, I'll okay. message her and see if we okay. can fix it. 
Okay, so uh, yeah, so if you live in a snowy area, snow works just as well um, as ice does and is free <clears throat> if it snows outside. So that's great. Um, once again, you can grab this book on Amazon or on our blog, prettylifegirls.com. Click our shop link and you can get this book and then run over to Michael's and get all the tulip supplies and be tie dyeing all summer long. Okay, should, should we start? We do it? Okay, now that we've rambled, let enough. us know before we get started any questions you have so far, uh, et cetera. Okay, um, I'm gonna bring up our tie dye handy dandy tie dye bucket. Before we start um, ice dyeing, let us explain to you why we love tulip so much and what makes it different from other things. You can come stand on this side, Liz. Okay. I'm, I mean, oh. You can't see me. I'm just here to chat. Some people might be looking in the oh, oh, face sometimes. It. It's still there. If oh, they hi. Have, like... I had no idea. <laughs> okay. Great. Okay. So I, uh, tulip is great because if you've ever used, and I'm sorry about this phone thing being so bouncy. Um, if you've ever used other dyes, you generally need to use a fixative or something like a soda ash to get the dye to really cling to the fabric. The wonderful thing about tulip is it's one step. In here, there's powder at the bottom. It has dye and it has the soda ash already in there. So all you have to do is fill it up to the fill line, shake it up, and then do it. For ice dye though, we just want the powder. So we have- and Also, if you're, a, if you're new to tie dye, when you buy a tulip kit, it comes with gloves, it comes with uh, rubber bands. And a it, lot of times, if it's like a party bucket, it'll have like a table cover. Right, and it'll have extra refills and that sort of thing. So it's a great place to start because you don't need anything but what's in the tulip kit. Yeah, okay. So we're gonna demonstrate ice dye on this shirt, even though this is an ice dye dress thing, but you would just do the same thing. <laughs> So we it's just felt have, wasteful to have to make two more dresses when we have dresses made. So we're just showing yeah. you on a general fabric. Next time we should make an extra and give that away. We should. But then it would only it would be size limited. Yeah, not everybody we don't could, like that. Yeah. Okay. So 100% cotton is always the best way to go when you are doing tie dye. It holds the fabric much better. In fact, the other day I just did a shirt that was like a cotton poly blend. And it's crazy how much of the color washes away. Yes. So 100% cotton. With ice dye, if you want to, you can bind it like in a spiral or, you know, the fun ways that people bind tie dye. But we stick to just bunching it up. So all you do is lay it down flat so that the front is facing up because that's where you want most of the color to be. And then you're just going to scrunch it together not into a ball, more into as flat as you can get the scrunch. A bundle. Because you want the dye to be able to run through the fabric. And if you do too dense of a ball, it won't drip all the way through and the back of your project won't get the dye it needs. Last so, year we did reverse dye. We had a great time. Reverse dye, so obsessed. Probably our second fave. Second fave, <laughs> so fun to do. If you go to Michael's and get the Bella Canvas shirts, um, that have like a little bit of Heather the in them, Heather. the colors that you will get after that, you cannot predict. And it's the most it is fun. So fun. What was the one that pulled out light blue, like baby blue? It was like gray. Wasn't it? I can't remember last year. We had a heyday. Oh, but... so fun. Oh, we had, um, the pink, no, the blue shirts that pulled pink. That's what it, That's was. what it was. We got baby blue shirts and, and reverse dyed them and they turned blue and pink and they are amazing. Our husbands wear them all the time. We love them. Yeah. And our brother. And our brother. Okay. So you would just scrunch it up like this. I should also mention this shirt is dry. Generally with tie dye, you would want to do a damp cert, like a damp material, but this is yeah, going to get, get out wet. This is going to get wet. So, okay. So from here, you could put rubber bands around it mm -hmm. to like really keep it tight. You can, but you don't pile. want it too tight. No, you don't. You can pile the ice on and that's how we do it a lot of times. But then we're also going to show you something you can do to help contain the ice a little bit. So this is just like cardboard flaps from a box and I'm going to tape them together 
And like Sam said, this is a more of a hack. This isn't a must have. This is a hack. But yes. it does, it is helpful if you really want to stack a lot of ice on and make sure you have a good if amount to, to drip through. Uh, because you want a you want a pretty thick layer for best. Yeah. Best. And we always have, I mean, okay, so we can explain this as we go too. I'm just gonna tape these together. Can you explain the container and rack you are using? Absolutely. Oh my goodness. Thank and pre-wash. Yes. Okay. Sorry. Let me go back. We did teal shirt and got gray. Love. Did you pre-wash the shirt? Yes. Always pre-wash your fabric. You don't know what kind of um, sizing, sizing might be on your shirts. So always pre-wash your fabric. Very very important. Okay. The container and rack. We just have an old big old Tupperware that we tie dye in because it catches everything. You can rinse it out. No food comes in contact with this, etc. This is just a huge Tupperware that we use. If you have a stainless steel sink, um, you can do it in there. Uh, and then this rack is like a baking cooling rack. Mm -hmm. And the reason that we use this is because it elevates the dye above the surf, the bottom of the um, container, because you want your ice to drip through and you don't want your shirt sitting in the pool of dye because then you'll lose those unique swirls and stuff it'll just be a bunch of browns that it's sitting in the bottom so a raised cooling rack is awesome you could also get a baking rack and lay it i don't know how to show you with my hands like this but lay it across your tupperware whatever just so that you don't want your fabric sitting in the dye okay so Generally, we just do this and we'll just start piling ice on, but you want to cover all the surface. And so when you get toward the edges, Falls it off. can be hard to keep the ice on. So this is where our, I'm going to just move this for a second while I do this. So this is my two flaps. I'm going to just tape it into like a circle, not a good circle, but, and you'll see how helpful this is. Keep the questions coming. Yes, happy to answer them. Like I said, we run away with this whole thing. <laughs> okay, so then what you would do is you'd have your thing here and you will bunch your, put your bunched up shirt inside. So you can bunch it. Remember with the top facing up and and then the beauty of this is you can just like dump your ice in and it will all be contained and every part of this fabric is going to get some ice. Okay. So again, not required, but a really nice hack. What is the size of the circle? Honestly, this was just two flaps. Just make something that you're sure. Maybe fits like in. a foot and a half each side or something, a foot. Yeah, and then uh, taped together. Maybe, yeah, maybe like 18 inches, two pieces, 18, 18 inches, inches together, but you would just make it to fit your to project. Fit. Not too tight. Okay. Thank so, you, Andrew, Patty, May, for thinking our hack is cool. I love some okay. validation. Love so now that. we have our ice. And at this point, we can just dump it on and kind of spread it around to get on everything. Just one. Wait, you got water for this. Oh, I didn't need it. Need it. Oh my, the one time I'm actually prepared. <laughs> we always forget to fill our, our bottles with water. And before we started filming, Sam goes, I remembered water, here it is. And we actually don't even need, don't need it. For this time. <laughs> so Gosh. typical, so typical. Okay, I'm putting gloves on. Even though my hands are perpetually blue. Yes. Die. Yes. Love it. Okay. So then we just take our bottles. We've got our yellow. Let's talk about oh, Lydia. Lydia. Bless, Bless your heart. Let's Lydia. talk about colors for a second. So what we're doing for this project is the red, yellow, and blue. And we love to do red, yellow, and blue. Like we said, they're primary colors. So when they mix together, you're going to get awesome results. If you're scared about getting browns or muddled colors, Primary colors are really great to stick with. And then also just thinking about the color wheel. So only using warm colors on your project or only using cool colors on your project. Again, Excuse that's me. not, you don't have to do that. Bless you, thanks. You don't have to do that. But if you're like, I'm worried about getting ugly colors, you can't go wrong with sticking with warm, 
or cool or primary, you'll always get results that you're going to love. Yes. I love doing this with Tulip because you can just pop this off and like push it out with air. It's just like all oh, fun. Yeah. Puff, puff. <laughs> and it's so fun. Um, I have heard that it's best to do light colors first, but I don't know if it matters. What I will say is blues always Dominate. go a long way. Yes. So um, I like bright. Things. Yes. So, so maybe more red and yellow and not as, not the whole a little of blue accent. or something. So look, all I'm doing now is I'm just puffing ice or dye on the ice like this. So you don't need water in the bottle since the ice is the water. Exactly. exactly. It's so fun. The only problem with this method is that if you are impatient, <laughs> as we are, it can be torturous waiting for the results because you, you have, have to wait. Out blow dryer. Oh, yes. And you it never handle. is as good, though. It's never as good as when you just let summer, it melt. Summer outside is always the best. But do it out in the sunshine. It will melt but it. it can be torturous because you've got to wait till the ice is completely melted for best results. And wow, it can take a long time for ice to melt. I was going to say, make sure that you do the giveaway entry because we can send a picture of the final of this. Oh, great idea. So you can see how it turns out. That will be fun. Um, the link, if you missed that, if you join late or you weren't, you weren't there, we are giving away a tie-dye prize pack. So sorry. Yeah, it's fine. A tie-dye prize pack with our tie-dye book and a bunch of supplies and a custom tie-dye shirt. The link is a little bit higher up in the chat. Make sure you go there, fill it out, and then we'll be able to send you any links from our project also. Cindy totally gets the color wheel. Think. That's right, Cindy. Yep. You want to stick with cools and warms, cools and warms separately. or your primary colors. Okay. So I did my yellow. I'm going to do reds now. I like to do it in like clusters. Mm -hmm. So I don't want like a dusting yeah. all over. The yellow kind of did that, but yellow travels too, kind of yeah. like the blue. I want it um, in Yeah, like because you want clusters. these unique patches in different areas, yes. right? So I'm going to try and do the red more in like chunks like spots more like are that. you guys going to do dresses or are you what are you going to be ice dyeing I want to hear what your plans are it was national tie-dye day on Saturday did anyone celebrate it? oh we did I mean every day shirts is, yes Teresa so fun we every have every day's national tie-dye day shirts also t-shirts great Michael's has the best t-shirts so their Gildan t-shirts are on sale all the time, it seems like. And those are the perfect amount of cotton. So they will take wonderfully. If you like a better fit and a little bit softer, the Bella <laughs> canvas is great too. I don't think my grandsons want dresses. I guess you never know. Shirts, wear my yeah. tie-dyed sweatsuit. Oh, I love, love it. it, Paula. Tennis shoes. Oh, so we fun. Love dye. Um, okay, Andrew Patty May. Is that your name? Is that what should we call you? Um, Shibori Saturday. Fun. I love that. Um, you want to talk to her about shoes? I want to talk about shoes really bad. It's my favorite. Um, okay. Do did we use more powder than doing ice dye versus the other one? Did we use more powder when doing I ice think dye? you use more powder when you're using the water method when you're adding the water. You don't need to use a whole yeah. entire bottle no. for ice dye. No, I'm going pretty generous on this. I like to do pastel tie dye. Lovely. Do you use all the powder? You don't have to. Not for this one shirt. This yeah. would go, the, using these bottles would go through a couple of different shirts. Yeah. 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 Socks to match. Love it. Okay. Um, let's talk about shoes for a second. I'll find our shoes. We okay. I'm going to be doing some blue. I have them. I have them in the closet. The that box. ones from the book? Yeah. In the box. Oh, let me get them. Okay. So, like we were saying, can't change names. It is Patty. Hi, Patty. I wondered if that's what it was. <laughs> um, we're going to talk shoes and back to like how much dye you use. You could leave like quite a bit of untouched ice here as it melts. It's going to really cover. I'm going to do just a tiny bit of blue while Liz, um, Okay, let's shows you some. Do you want to switch to the overhead or to the front facing? First oh, yeah. Time? Let's switch to the front. Okay, facing. I'm just doing a little bit of blue. 
like I said, it really travels. Okay. Okay. So I want to show you two methods you can do for tie dyeing shoes. So this one is in our book, DIY Guide to Tie Dye Style. These gorgeous watercolor tie dye shoes are done with the method where you squirt dye over shaving cream and then press the shoes on top and then scrape the shaving cream off and you get these gorgeous swirls. I did this last summer. I was um, on a vacation with my my sister-in-law and her kids and we did tie-dye every day and we did this and they thought it was the funnest thing because oh, it's so fun. I, you just tell them like pick two colors yes. or pick three colors so that you can kind of control it because I'm a little bit controlling and I want it to turn out and they thought that was the coolest thing and everyone's were so cute. And we have a YouTube video of this process too, if you yes. wanted to see it. Awesome. And then this project, did this go up already? It's going to come soon. This is going to go up. We did this with Tulip tie-dye also, these rainbow shoes. So this is done with tie-dye and we painted this on so that we could really control the colors. So we treated our dye as like, like it was watercolor paint and painted this on and they are I'm just, even just pulling them out again. I love them so much. They're so so shoes is so fun, especially to do with kids and especially that shaving cream. The shaving method. cream is oh so my gosh. fun. Okay. You can switch back to the, I mean, now. yeah. Okay. And you I got to ap apologize for my sniffles. I got allergies so <laughs> bad. Um, okay. I always love how this looks right after you diet. It's, it's so fun it's to so watch pretty. it. Um, Do you have them in the book? Yes. The, um, the purple you guys, blue. thank you for all the compliments. I love you all oh, so the, much. Teresa saw the bottom. Oh, the bottom's here. Sam, Teresa, we Sam got is a little say, genius. She, oh, that looks kind of gross. It's not going to hold up by any means. Very fun. It's cute in a picture. I'll show you again in a little bit. Um, yeah. In the book, the ones with the shaving cream are in the book. So prettylifegirls.com and then tap on the shop and you can grab the book. With and like, we have a YouTube video too where we walk through this, but, and it's just your normal so tulip tie dye just squirted over, um, shaving, shaving cream. cream. Yeah. It's, it's really so awesome. Fun. What was the rainbow? So the rainbow was a painted on, it's an ombre method. Yes. So we're going to post that tutorial this week. So watch the blog to learn how. Yeah. <laughs> what a plug. <laughs> what a plug. Okay. When I'm looking at this, it is kind of a random fruit. Oh, oh yes. this. It does, <laughs> it does feel kind of fruity, huh? Yeah, I love that. Okay, so we love to watch it as it progresses. Like this yes. will probably take till tonight to yeah. melt. But every, like, if you look at it every hour, it's so fun to see how it shifts mm -hmm. and changes. And it's just like truly magical. So once it has all melted, and like we said, if you need to pull out the blow dryer, you can. Sure. Or if you live in a place where it's warm today. Yeah, do it do outside. Do it outside. It's not quite warm enough in Utah yet to be doing this outside, but like maybe Texas or somewhere where it's warmer, do this outside and let the sun help it along. Yeah. Yeah, we're super impatient. We did a bunch of them in a kiddie pool last year. Do you remember? Yeah, I do. In the middle of the summer. Yeah. Okay, so... What do we do once it's all melted? So once it's all melted, you can rinse it. <laughs> so a lot with tie dye, usually traditionally, you put it in a bag to set the dye. This, the amount of time it takes for the dye to travel through gives it enough time to for set. it to set at different levels, sure. you know, like to different extents, which is what you want so yes. that you get the different like bulbs and, um, you get some light, you get some dark, you get all sorts of things. And, um, is it Angie? Um, it, you just do it till it melts. So depends where you are. Oh, I wish you did tie dye yesterday outside. It hit. Oh my gosh, eighty nine. Oh. Well, we'll have all beach summer. girl. We'll get back to the shoes in just a second. We'll give you some tips on the shoes. Oh yes. Okay. Let's. We'll so, finish this up and then talk shoes again. Yeah, we'll finish this so you don't have to keep looking. Oh, at but just you can see. Ice. Oh, maybe you can't. I guess you can't see. But I can Here, see. I it can starting see it. to drip down. 
So you this, see this strip there's right a here. Drip. It looks like blood Ooh, very much, scary. but you can see how you don't want your shirt sitting in this because then you lose the swirls. So that's again, why we have it on an elevated rack because as it drips down, it drips into our container instead of pooling underneath the shirt. Yes. Okay. So again, we're just going to let it melt completely. And the dye is going to mix with the ice and it's going to run through the shirt to the bottom and it's going to create just the most incredible thing. And the reveal is the funnest so ever. Fun. So then you will rinse it until the water runs clear and then wash it by itself, dry it and you're done. And like I said, we will in our follow-up email for the class, we will send a finished picture of it, yes. but you can switch to the overhead camera the face forward facing. We're done. Or yeah, this. sorry. Forward facing. This is the dress that we made with these exact colors. So red, yellow, and blue. This is like a summer sundress. And this all came just from those same three colors. And we made four of these dresses. This one has the most limes. Mm -hmm. Mine has a ton of red and blue. Mm -hmm. I feel like yours had pinks in it. This one's mine. Oh, this one's yours. Maybe the I'm thinking Georgie's. of George's. Yeah. Yes. So you never know what you're going to get. And it's we made them matching for our little girls. And it was just, the yes, cutest. you can see that on, is there a picture of that in the blog? Did we end up putting it in the book? It's, uh, no, not in the book, but it's on the, in the back. So I thought we got in our follow-up email, we can okay, send yes. like all of our tie-dye projects. Yes. <laughs> and then all of our ice dye projects. And then we'll show this one that we did with the wilderness kit from Tulip. This is ice dye. Which did anyone click through to see the wilderness kit? I need to know. I wish I had one so I could show you. You would never. Okay, when you rinse it, do you twist it to wring out the water? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Rinse, squeeze, rinse, squeeze, rinse, squeeze till it's pretty much clear. Teresa, you saw the pictures. Can you believe that that is what <laughs> came from it? It's so crazy. It's so crazy. Okay. Shoes. So, who had shoes oh, questions? Beach girl. Beach girl. Okay. She's asking about if we taped it. Yes. So on... On these, yeah, remove the laces, tape it off. Thank you, Lydia. It turned out so good. Um, okay. And Teresa's validating us. She cannot believe Thank that you, that dress Teresa. came from those you, colors. You are a front runner for winning the giveaway. <laughs> no, it's just not Just kidding. Rigged. It doesn't Random work like that. Selection. <laughs> tape the soles, remove the laces for that. On this one, I didn't tape it. I watered down most. Oh, here's this for those of you who didn't see it. But yeah, this won't last. It's just fun. <laughs> um, for this one, we watered down the colors and you use water to blend. And so... Um, it's really easy to just keep a paper towel close by and wipe off drips as they get on here. Also, if you did get dye on it and you wanted to get it off, it's pretty easy to get off with like some rubbing alcohol or something. They are awesome though. Thank they you are so awesome, much. Huh, the Patty? dress is fantastic. Lydia, I hope you make a dress like this. All you need, red, yellow, and blue tie-dye. I mean, they're just, both dresses are just so you just can't predict what you're going to get. They're so beautiful. It's so fun. Okay. So a couple things, make sure you have entered the giveaway so we can have you enter yes. to potentially win. And so we can send you our follow-up email. We'll have ice dye projects that you can look at. We'll have links to like, we can put the links to the racks we use, um, to the kits we use, to kits. our book. Yes. And to these tutorials we've talked about. So make sure that you are signed up there. And if there's any other info you have. Oh, okay. Oh, this good is a question. good question. Okay. Okay. <laughs> if there are other questions, yeah, yes. go now. We're going to go yes. one at a time. Deidre, do we always tie down white? No. Usually, go. <laughs> this is an ice type project. What? The gray. Yes. Okay. Sorry. We got so excited. Deidre, can you ever, have you ever seen two people get so excited about talking about shirts? Okay. So I love to use, um, a gray if I want a little bit more muted. So if you are like, I want to look like I just got back from summer camp, which there's nothing wrong with love it. Or I'm going to Woodstock use white. You'll get your most vibrant colors. If you want a little bit of a more muted grown up looking tie dye, 
using gray um, is really awesome because it automatically mutes the colors for you. So for instance, on our blog, prettylifegirls.com, we have a gray ice dye sweatshirt that we made and we used red, yellow, and blue, but the colors that ended up on it because it was gray were like a maroon and a navy. They just, they deepened but quite they a bit. But they also look dusty because and they of the gray. almost look dusty. So it depends on what your results, what results you're interested in getting. If you're going to do white, your color, the colors are going to be the most vibrant. But if you want them to mute a little bit, I wouldn't go like a bold color, but a, like a pastel shirt or a light gray shirt, a heather gray shirt will work great. Okay, Teresa, if you haven't already left, thank you so much. <laughs> Bye. Good luck at your appointment. Um, okay. Um, thank you. Okay, Marcia. Marsha. Oh yeah. Chanel just did the link to you. Thank you. Chanel. Um, I don't know how to say this, but should it be washing the machine soon after this is up to you? I prefer to wash it sooner because otherwise, um, I feel like the colors will spread through the fabric because it will be wet. So the dye will kind of spread through the longer it sits and and you won't get as much like contrast, it still can be really pretty. Like we did um, some sheets. I have the sheets in there too. Do you wanna grab sure. the pillowcase? I did some sheets and it was a big project. I did it in my bathtub and I left it overnight and it still turned out beautiful. Liz is getting a pillowcase right now to show you. Um, it's in that box. Is that not it right on top? Um, it blended a little bit more. Oh, it wasn't sheets. It was a, a duvet and pillowcases, but yeah. So it just depends what you're going for. But you really can't mess it up. This was the bedding. Isn't that pretty? This one was hot pink, yellow, and teal. And so kind of a play on primary colors. Wow. But. We've done so much ice dye. I don't think I even realized I know, it. I'm actually working on a reel of all of our <laughs> ice dye projects and it's so much. Okay, cold <gasps> wash or regular started. wash? Um, I mean, I always just do cold at my house just for like conservation purposes. <laughs> um, we're both so blind. We both have to lean all the way in. It's I'm so small. sorry. <laughs> I know. Here are our faces. <laughs> I can't wait to get started. I know my two. Oh, your daughters will. Oh, can I say it. something really quick about all of you that have kiddos? So if you have not done mystery dye poppers with your kids, this is essential. Get this on your summer craft list. It's from Tulip. You can grab it at Michael's. It is the funnest way to tie-dye with your kids. It's very low mess because you're not having to add water or squeeze or gloves or even anything. And what a favorite method. Third favorite. <laughs> Ice dye. Reverse dye. dye. Dye poppers. dye poppers. So inside of these little white canisters are the dye. So fun. Patty. You throw them in a bag with whatever surface, shirts, shoes, whatever, bang them with this mallet. Then the dye pops out. Do, have do you have one? one? And then, um, didn't you do shoes? I think I have a shirt. Um, oh yeah, I got a couple. Okay, cool. And then you let it sit in the bag, rinse it out. So it's virtually mess free as far as application goes I'm fine. and it is so fun with kids this is so the you can keep the poppers mysterious but there's also a guide like underneath there's yeah a if number. you're controlling and you still want it to turn out pretty then yeah. you can choose your warm so we did that colors. with this one with the warm and it's so cute because you get like this speckly fun and then this one we did with all the colors I love and we this spiraled one. it. I'm so and it's just with like you one. get that speckle. It is so fun. Yes. So grab that at Michael's. Can you ice dye wool? I have never Ooh. tried. I cannot speak to it. I imagine you're fancier than we are. That's I for imagine sure. that you could. <laughs> I think you could. It's a natural fiber, and typically natural fibers take dye beautifully. So okay. I want to talk about mm -hmm. one last thing. Our next class is on. June 2nd, if you have any last questions, drop yes, them in. Um, our next class is on June 2nd. It's gonna be matching 4th of July tie-dye, which is- Two different methods that we're gonna do so you can make them with your family or make them for yourself, whatever. It is a premium class. So it's gonna be closer to 90 minutes. And, um, I, and there's a fee with it, but we're waiting for Michaels to 
to post it so that you can register, but we'll send that out too through our follow-up email. We would love to have you guys at that one. Okay. My grandson will love the poppers. He will love the poppers. It is so fun because you just like whack it out some aggression. It is so creative. Good. Amazing. Yes, silk and linen. Try adding one cup of vinegar to set colors. I do this with all new clothes. Yeah, you can totally do that. Um, the great thing about tulip is it has the soda ash in it, which should bind like make it cling to the fabric pretty well, but vinegar will never hurt. Um, okay. Add vinegar in the washing machine. Yes, that's great. Okay, any last questions? Wow, we just like, <laughs> afterwards, you wouldn't believe us. We collapse onto the couch. It's like an adrenaline come The down. fact that we get to talk about tie-dye in this way, we don't get to do it that often and have people actually want to listen to it. Our husbands don't want to listen to it. So we get it. very excited and then we crash from the adrenaline. Okay, yeah. all right, so make sure you've signed up for our list. It's in the chat. You will be entered in the giveaway. We'll be able to send you any follow-up emails that we need, show you the, the results of this one that we're working on, show you links to our other projects, links to our book. So, so oh, it, there's the link again, sign up for that. Um, watch Michael's classes so that you know when to sign up for our next Tulip class where we're making the 4th of July, um, the 4th of July projects. And then make sure you're following at Michael's stores, at Tulip Color Crafts and at Pretty Life Girls for details on all of these projects. And um, if you make any of them, oh my gosh, please tag us at Pretty Life Girls. Here's the thing about us. <laughs> we love nothing more than validation <laughs> and um, so like if you sent us a picture of your project, we would, I would absolutely die. die. We will reshare. And, um, uh, there's one other thing. Okay. So, and then hashtags. So hashtag Michael's classes, hashtag make it with Michael's. The premium class will be June 2nd and it's matching 4th of July, which like, what is better than so matching? Fun. I force my family, family to do it every year. I don't care what they say. It it's is one essential of my tradition. Stories. Okay. You guys, thanks you thank guys. You. Have a wonderful day. Happy making everyone. Bye. Bye. <laughs>